Garbutt and superb grappling on the other side from Mejia. And Mejia constantly switching stances, not just staying in the one stance, going from the uh, orthodox uh, left foot lead and then squares up. So it'll be interesting to see how Garbutt counters that because she's not going to see that in many of her boxing fights, that square up stance, which is a, uh, a more of a sambo stance. And the boxing showing early here, Garbutt said she hasn't really let her hands go in her MMA career yet, hoping to be able to do so today and keep Mejia at a distance. Big leg kick there almost took the smaller Mejia down. And again, patient fighting and a nice leg kick again from Lindsey Garbutt. Yeah, you can see uh, Garbutt a little longer in the reach department. Oh, a big overhand right, another right hand connects, but Mejia comes right back. Good head, head movement from both these fighters. And looking to pick her spots, Lindsey Garbutt pacing. And the, the footwork had stopped for a moment, but right back on it. Again, moving forward, that a big kick. Mejia looks to grab out every time Garbutt comes in. Garbutt able to stay away from the grasp and use those kicks to her advantage. Well, and Lindsay Garbutt just is very long as well for a five foot four fighter. So anytime that Mejia is coming in, she's coming with those looping punches. She's not able to get them because she knows that if she gets any closer, Lindsay Garbutt's going to fire out that jab to try and counter. Big kick to the midsection a moment ago from Garbutt. Mejia hasn't really gotten in to land any damage. Garbutt doing all the damage thus far in round number one. And that leg kick is showing on the front foot of Valeria Mejia. And every time she puts that foot forward, Lindsay Garbutt's responding. That's a nice uppercut, though. Yeah, sent Mejia's head rocking back with that uppercut on her way in. Stopped that approach dead in its tracks. Again, anytime Mejia gets kind of close, it, it, the counter punches come from Garbutt. That exchange just landing on the outside of the wrists of Garbutt. Again, a big right hand swing, but no connect. When Mejia has to cut off the cage, she has to get this to the grappling, which is where she's more comfortable. So she cuts off the cage on Lindsay Garbutt, she can rush in, she might eat a few shots on the way in, but she can work the grappling. If she continues to stay out here at distance, this is just Lindsay Garbutt's game. Yeah, at this point, she's able to pick her apart, like you mentioned, Jeremy, because she's pacing forward. She's keeping Mejia to the outside of the cage. Garbutt doing a very good job so far at executing her game plan, not taking any damage and landing some good shots. Nice exchange there. Both fighters getting a couple punches in. When Lindsay Garbutt has family here in Calgary, so although she's from Toronto, does have good support here in this crowd. And lots of fans watching at home on Claro Sports, firmly in the corner of Valeria Mejia. And again, that kick comes in. And right back to Stance. Nice spinning back fist. Blocked, though, by Garbutt. And again, Garbutt never lowering her hands. That's the boxing training, keeping her hands up. But that was the first real good show of offense by Mejia, perhaps reading what Garbutt was giving her. Show, threw a short shot, Garbutt stepped in to close the distance to counter and the nice spinning back fist. Right hand got through on Mejia there. Again, trying to find an opening. The kick came through, and Mejia responded with a punch that landed. Not for much damage, but it did get through. And now again, you see just stalking Mejia around the cage. Mejia forced into the role of counterpuncher, which is harder to do when you don't have reach. Yeah, if you've got the long reach, you're able to counterpunch, although she did land there throwing wildly. And you can see now Garbutt coming forward. Mejia throwing, like you mentioned, Jeremy, a little wider with her strikes when she comes in. And when Garbutt closes the distance, Mejia throwing, but throwing with power, throwing enough to keep Garbutt backing away and waiting for her next opportunity. Well, and again, Garbutt can continue the striking. This is going to be her game. Gets in on a double leg, tries to put an exclamation point, and she will secure the double leg. And I guess the strategy is, hey, I won the striking, but I can also land uh, a double leg.
Round two action from Hard Knocks 46 as Valeria Mejia comes out of the blue corner to take on Lindsay Garbett out of the red corner. Garbett with the camo top. You can see again in round one it was primarily striking that did the job for Lindsay Garbett. Nice leg kick there. Mejia willing to eat it a little more to get in close. One again. Mejia knows that she's got to get this to grappling if she's going to have a chance in this fight. The boxing too clinical from Lindsay Garbett. So again, eating a few shots to be able to get in might be what she does. And that's what she does right there. Gets a hold. But Lindsay Garbett just muscling her down. Good front head and arm position here, trying to extend her opponent to maybe get in behind for a good submission attempt. Garbett showing a nice takedown defense here, running out of room up against the cage and now turning her opponent. But that sprawl and brawl, she knows she can't get into the clutches of Mejia and some big knees now coming in the strikes. Mejia trying to catch her leg and drive her to the ground. But again, that sprawl, very effective for Lindsay Garbett here. Well, Lindsay Garbett now can, working two strikes. Smart work, she did have the arm around the neck and I was concerned that she might go to a guillotine, give up that positive position. But again, Lindsay Garbett knows where her strengths is and the strengths are in her right and left hands. So she's gonna try and do everything that she can to use those to her advantage. And this is a great position for her to be in. Again, continuing to sprawl, not allowing Mejia to drive through on a double leg. Big knee to the face. Some knees coming the other way from Mejia here. As Garbett has her up against the cage, three and a half minutes to go in round number two of a possible three rounds. And Lindsay Garbett trying to secure a takedown here, Jeremy, maybe beating Mejia at her own game. Well, now down to the ground is Lindsay Garbett and look for her to posture up. This is an open guard from Mejia. So Garbett needs to get in and out of this guard position because this is where Mejia can work. If she can get to side control, that's where Garbett's going to be the most successful. Very accomplished in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. Valeria Mejia continues to try and find an opening from the bottom, holding Garbett down and now posturing up. As you mentioned, Jeremy trying to find an opening, did get that right hand through. And again, oh, a big right hand, our cameraman right on top of the action here, as we're showing it again at more right hands coming down on Mejia as Lindsay Garbett is doing some work here up against the cage. And again, the good work here by Garbett, just keeping in control, making sure that she's not overextending. And these are some big shots being landed to Mejia. Credit Mejia, though, very tough in holding through and trying to find an opening, trying to grab the leg. And now a choke attempt coming here from Lindsay Garbett, although maybe for control more than anything else, has her up against the cage. Mejia trying to drive through and stay alive here. Elbows now coming, the single leg. The bastion of hope for Mejia here as Garbett is dropping all kinds of punishment up against the cage. Mejia now burying her head, getting into a bad position. The referee right on top of this one, and she's eaten probably 40 consecutive blows to the face. And you can hear the referee say, do something or I'll stop it. Do something or I'll stop it. And uh, here response, switching to the other leg, dropping her head protecting herself, intelligently defending, and getting out of a heck of a situation there. Credit the guts of Valeria Mejia as she drives through another right hand comes through from Lindsay Garbett. Well, Valeria Mejia has probably taken 50 straight tough shots from a world champion boxer and continues to come forward. There is no quit in Chica Galactica. And again, a lot of fans on her Claire network as she eats a big punch from Lindsay Garbett. Garbett trying to finish this fight up against the cage. No quit in Valeria Mejia, who lands some punches of her own. And now a slugfest breaking out here in the second round at Hard Knocks 46. Is that Big leg kick, again, followed by a combination. Garbett trying to put her away. Mejia tries the spinning back fist and lands. Garbett now has her up against the cage, trying to tee off, trying to create distance. Mejia standing in front, taking everything Garbett has to offer here, and she's throwing for days. Garbett landing all kinds of strikes, including an elbow there. Well, Lindsay Garbett's corner said to her, let's finish this one off, and Garbett responded by throwing some big punches. Short time remaining. Valeria Mejia is moving her head out of the way of these big shots. 
Referee right on top of the action. And holy, was that around. First language is Spanish. Troy Hurst's first uh, language is Spanish. Obviously, Adam Cheadle's first language is not Spanish. They tag up, and it's right back to work for Lindsey Garbett. Valeria Mejia has taken a severe amount of punishment and has just kept coming. Well, Lindsey Garbett doing the smart thing here. She could see a staggered opponent and say, hey, look, I got to swarm this girl to try and finish this fight. But she's being calm, getting the takedown right up in front of us and landing these big shots now. Adam Cheetah right on top of the action, and he has seen enough. That is going to be a big win for Lindsey Garvin. This fight is over. Lindsey Garvin, your winner. A takedown and a ground and pound victory. Valeria Mejia put on a show for this crowd.